Miss Brooke, who are these two adorable young boys? My boys. Mm -hmm. And they go to school? Yes. And you were picking them up from school? Yes. On what date? I picked them up on February 1st, 2018. They were already in the car? Yes. And you were driving? Yes, Your Honor. How far away from the school were you? Within feet of the school. How many feet? From where to where? From, like, here... From where you are? So to... standing from where I am to that door. 12 to 15 feet? Yes, Your Honor. And how many children go to that school? Probably, like, 500 kids. And the children all get out at the same time? Yes, Your Honor. What time? They get out at 3 o'clock. And there are a lot of parents that pick up their children from school? Yes. By car? Yes. So if... I were a parent picking up my child from school, I would be traveling about two miles an hour, right? Yes, you're Around right. the school. That's slow until I got away from it. This is what your case is about. According to you, on February 1st of this year, you picked up your boys at school, and the defendant's little girl came running out, darting out into the road, collided with your car. And when she collided in your car, she broke your mirror on your car. Yes, Your Honor. And the little girl ended up being taken away in an ambulance. Yes. And had a fractured clavicle and severe bruising requiring stitches to her chin. I assume you have all those medical records for yes, you to look at. Yes, and I have at. pictures as well. Just a and now what your lawsuit is, is you want her mother to pay for the mirror on your car. Yes, Your Honor. She collided. I was going very slowly, and it was a side impact. I did not hit her. She ran into me. And she was going against the crossing guard, going in an area where you're not supposed to be crossing at all. And I heard the crossing guard scream, stop. And that's the moment that she hit my vehicle. You understand that just by the expression on my face, if you are an intelligent woman, you understand that you have an uphill battle with me. Because you're in a school zone, you're in a school area, you've just picked up your two toddlers. What's his name? Tyler. Now, if someone else were picking up Tyler at school and you got a call that Tyler was in the hospital because he was crossing the street to get into the car, car that was waiting to pick him up, and he had a fractured clavicle and he had bruising and stitches, he needed stitches on his face, would you think that the person who hit him should have been more cautious? No, not if you understand the scenario and the situation. I'm going... There's a video that I have. I'd like to see it. Here's where the fence ends. And this is where the child came out. This is where Emmy came out. Just say, I don't see what you... What I'm sharing with you, I took that video when there was no cars there. But that's the entrance and the exit to the car. Going back, it's a two-way lane. I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Neither if, does anybody else who's watching this. If I could explain, there's, it's a two-lane road. One is going southbound to go into the school, and the other is going northbound, going out. The cars are completely... You were going... You were I going was going northbound, you were and going I was going out of the extremely sh slow. Sh just a second. You were going out of the school. I was going out of the school. I was. I passed the school fence, so it happened a few feet out of the school. I was going extremely... Fifteen feet. I was we going extremely slow, and then all the cars on that side, it's car after car after car. It is not a school, uh, an area to cross. Where Emmy had crossed is not an area to cross. There's a multitude of car after car after car after car. There is no crossing guard standing over there. I'm on the opposite, uh, going very, very, very slow. Uh, very, no, very, 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 very slow. Yes, I was going extremely slow. Explain, I was... if you were going so slowly, explain her broken clavicle.